Ford says the Bronco is built wild to be the most rugged, innovative, and connected SUV ever, which is a great slogan. But more importantly, did they make it capable and customizable? Let's look at the top features in the all new 2021 Ford Bronco. Seven drive modes, 22 credible off-road features, and Ford says it's so easily customizable that you can almost break it down to its bones in an hour with a wrench. Let's talk powertrain. There are two engines available, the standard 2.3 liter EcoBoost inline four from the Ford Ranger with 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque, and the optional 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost like the one from the Ford F-150 with 310 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Power is applied to the wheels with either the 10-speed automatic transmission or, for the enthusiast, the new 7-speed manual transmission with 6 speeds plus a crawl gear generating a crawl ratio of 95 to 1. To give you some perspective, a solid all-round 4x4 will have a crawl ratio of 50 to 1. The best beast currently is a manual transmission Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with an incredible crawl ratio of 84 to 1. With a crawl ratio of 95 to 1, you can almost climb trees. Bronco applies that force to the ground with an available beadlock wheel. Beadlock wheels will allow you to air your tires down to almost zero tire pressure to create a large footprint for maximum traction. Without this special type of wheel, your tire would break the bead and fall off the wheel. 35 inch tires fit direct from the factory and are available on every trim level in both two and four door. This means you won't need to install a lift to fit 35 inch tires the way you have to do with other 4x4s. And that the Bronco steering and powertrain are built tough enough to handle a bigger tire right from the factory. And by the way, if 4x4s are what you love to drive or plan to drive, smash that like button now, hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss another episode from us here at 4 Wheel Drive Magazine. Now we know Bronco has horsepower, torque and traction. But if it can't keep the wheels on the ground off-road, it's got nothing. Ford says it has best-in-class suspension travel, with 10 inches of travel in the front and over 10 inches in the back, more than the closest segment competitor. This, combined with semi-active stabilizer bar disconnect, gives the Bronco maximum articulation in uneven terrain, which means you keep more wheels on the ground for the best traction possible. Ford says they've designed it so the driver can disconnect and reconnect it with a flip of a switch while it's under load and on an angle, which means when you're in trouble, you can hit that switch. The front end gets an independent suspension system that's tuned for off-road with optional Bilstein position sensitive dampeners for high speed desert running. And the rear end gets a traditional solid axle truck suspension. Every Bronco comes with a two-speed shift-on-the-fly transfer case, but an advanced two-speed electromechanical transfer case is also available, and that adds an auto mode for on-demand engagement to select between two high and four high. Power is distributed to a Dana 44 solid rear axle and Dana independent front differential unit, both with available front and rear electronic locking differentials. There are seven driver selectable terrain modes, which Ford calls GOAT for go over any terrain. GOAT essentially does the thinking for you by choosing shift points, transfer case selection, differential locks, throttle tip in, and stability control. It should allow more inexperienced off-road drivers to go farther. For driver assist features, we expected and Ford delivered trail control, the cruise control for slow speed crawling that's also found in Ranger and Raptor. A new feature is the trail one pedal drive, which allows the driver to use one pedal to both brake and accelerate. It's a more intuitive system than the two foot strategy, one on the brake and one on the gas, used by many off-road drivers to get over tough sections while rock crawling. Another interesting feature is trail turn assist, which sounds really good as it shortens your turning radius for navigating tight trees and mountain switchbacks. It does this by applying the brake to the inside wheel to pivot the Bronco around that point. By the numbers, and in off-road we love numbers, the Bronco has a 29 degree breakover angle, 
37.2 degree departure angle, 11.6 inches of ground clearance, and a water fording capability of 33 and a half inches. Ford didn't reveal the approach angle, so it won't be class leading. But looking at the front end, it'll be competitive. They've also provided a modular front bumper, so drivers can switch to stubby for a better approach angle by removing the end caps. And bumpers come ready to mount a winch. Like mom used to say, never leave home without protection. We aren't sure what the base models get, but the most off-road capable models come with front skid plate, engine, transmission, transfer case, and fuel tank protection. We're also glad to see rock rails that can support two times the weight of the Bronco. If Ford is on their game, these rails will have high lift jack points for trail side tire changes. Ford recognizes that we love to personalize our off-road rigs, both to make them look better and for performance. They've designed the Bronco so we can unbolt many components and replace them as we like. In fact, they say the Bronco can be stripped down almost to its bones in an hour with a wrench, but we expect they mean wrench set. Ford says they'll offer over 200 customizable factory backed parts and accessories at launch, so no two Broncos will be exactly the same. Taking a page from the original 1966 Bronco, the roof and doors are removable. What's especially cool is the lack of a crossbar at the B pillar. It looks a little unnerving from a let's engineer a roll cage point of view, but it should provide a very open air convertible experience. These doors are quick release, light alloy, and store in bags in the back of the Bronco, so you don't have to take them off on the trail, and you don't have to leave them in your garage. Some of our favorite features on the exterior are hood tie downs that allow you to add branch bashers, extra lights, or cameras, and also show you right where your front corners are. We like that classic upright windshield for good no distortion visibility and the mirrors that stay on the body when you remove the doors. On the interior, we like the standard 8 inch or even better the optional 12 inch screen. We like the grab handles for the passenger on the console and the instrument panel. The bolt in bring your own device rail on the dash for phones, GPS, cameras, radios or whatever you want to bring with power on the dash so you don't have wires over the instrument panel. The key off-road buttons are right on the dash at eye level, and they're all rubberized so it doesn't matter if they get wet. And you get rubberized flooring with drains so you can hose down the interior, and marine grade vinyl seats that don't care if they get wet. We like the power at the tailgate for a fridge freezer, lights or music, and a slide out shelf that's strong enough to sit on, so it's an instant tailgate party wherever you go. On the tech side, the Bronco gets Ford's Sync 4, Copilot 360, over-the-air software updates, and a Bronco-first off-road navigation system. We look forward to seeing the class-exclusive spotter view that Ford says will allow you to see the train in front of every tire to help drivers choose the best path through nasty terrain. Ford has made the Bronco available in six trim levels based on how people will use their Bronco. It starts at base, which is the no-frills SUV ready to be customized into what drivers want. My favorite. Big Bend has more comfort features added on the base. Black Diamond has more standard heavy duty features. Outer Banks is for the person who prioritizes style and technology. Wild Track is the desert runner of the group, set up for high speed off-road. Badlands is the ultimate rock crawler and desert runner. And the special edition is called First Edition, which is Badlands Mechanicals with Outer Banks interior and Wild Track exterior features. The first edition will not be available in Canada. There are optional features and packages in every trim, but Ford is particularly proud of the Sasquatch package named after Bigfoot, which is the ultimate off-road package and includes 35 inch tires, 17 inch beadlock capable wheels, advanced 4x4 drive modes, front and rear locking differentials, and the Bilstein position sensitive dampers. Best of all, it's available in every trim, including base, which is why we like the base. You can set it up awesome for off-road. The Ford Bronco is one of the most highly anticipated off-road trucks in decades. And we've done a couple of videos of what we wanted to see in the Bronco. What did you want to see in the Bronco? Did Ford deliver what you wanted? And if so, give me your two favorite features. Please leave a comment down below. Bronco will roll into driveways in the spring of 2021 with pricing for the two-door base starting at just over 40,000 Canadian. Pre-orders can be made with a $100 deposit. So one of these brown ones. And if you haven't got one of these, 
you'll have to use one of these. If you enjoyed this video, share it. Smash that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and ring that bell so you're the first to know when a new video comes out. And believe me, there will be a lot more as we dive deeper into the Broncos' performance and features. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.